Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be talking about CMS Patient Safety Indicators, PSI 90. Following the release of To Ares Human Report from the Institute of Medicine, the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality developed patient safety indicators that health providers can use to identify potential in-hospital patient safety problems for targeted institution-level quality improvement efforts. Patient safety indicators highlight safety-related adverse events occurring in hospitals following operations, procedures, and childbirth. The CMS Patient Safety and Adverse Events Composite, also known as CMS PSI 90, is a subset of the AHRQ patient safety indicators and is a more relevant measure for the Medicare population because it utilizes ICD-10 data. The CMS PSI 90 measure summarizes patient safety across multiple indicators, monitors performance over time, and facilitates comparative reporting and quality improvement at the hospital level. The PSI 90 composite indicator is intended to be used primarily to monitor performance in national and regional reporting and also for competitive reporting and quality improvement at the provider level. It is not intended to reflect any broader construct of quality beyond what is reflected in the component indicators themselves. Use of a composite can assist consumers in selecting hospitals assist clinicians in allocating resources and assist payers in assessing performance, especially in the presence of competing priorities or where more than one component measure may be important. CMS PSI 90 has the following component indicators. Pressure ulcer rate, hydrogenic pneumothorax rate, in-hospital fall with hip fracture rate, perioperative hemorrhage or hematoma rate, postoperative acute kidney injury requiring dialysis rate, postoperative respiratory failure rate, perioperative pulmonary embolism or deep vein thrombosis rate, postoperative sepsis rate, postoperative wound dehiscence rate, unrecognized accidental puncture or laceration rate. Here you will find references to the material that was used to create the content of this presentation. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. See you next time.